I've never once had a four-wheel drive vehicle so I'm hoping that this all works out because I have to go to Target to get a few things because everything came I have my sleeping bag I have my uh, liner the thermal fit one my uh, propane heater and obviously the deep sleep that's gonna be going in the back here so I gotta get all this stuff taken care of before the storm gets even worse so right now Target here we come and I'm praying that we don't get stuck like I mean who knows I mean it what what's the worst that could happen right so let's get going I've been counting down the days counting down the days to get out I've been looking for a way looking for a way from this town and you're too far away you're too far away to help me now so I'm counting down the days counting down the days to get out cuz I need to learn to all right, let's pray. Oh no, I dropped my phone. Oh no. No. That'll be all right. Well, first trip in the Jeep in the snow is actually really good. So let's pray to God that they have what I'm looking for now. Okay, so I see the sleeping bags. Okay, this, I feel like I'm getting closer now have to be getting closer complete bus so I should have just checked the inventory kind of online because it said it was here but to Lowe's because I already actually I didn't call Cabela's maybe I should call Cabela since I'm like in the same area to see if they have it hello hello hi hi um question do you guys have any of the uh, 16 ounce uh, Coleman propane tanks in the store uh, let me check for you just one second, okay? Okay, thank you. So we don't have any in stock at the moment. None? Okay, thank you. Guess we'll call Lowe's and then Home Depot. Customer service, how can I help you? Hi, I was calling to see if you guys have any of the 16-ounce uh, Coleman um, propane tanks. We don't. We are out of those. Okay, thank you. Thank you for calling. Please wait while we transfer your call to the next available representative. Home Depot Garden, how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to see if you guys have any of the uh, Coleman 16 ounce propane tanks. I don't believe we do, but let me check to see if we have any. Okay. It looks like we just got them in stock last night. Good, they're going to be in the greenhouse by all the grills. Okay, thank you. Come in. This trip was not pointless. Now we can actually go and get our propane tanks. Thank you for having it. Now we just got to cross the most busiest street in Saginaw. right here honestly I might just buy all of these you think that's greedy if I just bought all of these oh wait a minute I don't know if this is it I don't think this is what I'm looking for I'll have to see if this can work in it well I might as well just grab it I mean what's the worst that could happen right just try it out items when you're finished select the pay now button I ran into one of my old uh, co-workers. Believe it or not, I used to work here. So let's go see if this is gonna work and uh, get some food because now I'm kind of hungry after all this driving and I really hope this guy's not, okay. I thought that guy was about to back up and hit my car. I was like, really dude? I'm not even driving. Hit me when I'm driving. If you guys don't already know, Chipotle is going to be the move. Typically when I'm out here in Saginaw, I would probably go to Yuma, Japan, but the mall is just crazy and people drive like maniacs in there. Not to mention the plow trucks in there are stupid. I'm actually really loving my Jeep because it's handling the snow so good right now. Uh, I'm gonna finish this food real fast and then we are gonna get to pretty much building the Jeep, the inside of it. We're gonna get the bed, sleeping bag, everything in there just to make sure everything fits comfortably. And obviously test out the, um, the space heater that I got. So first food, then came. So this would be my first time guys actually ever using the deep sleep for Jeeps here. And I'm really hoping that it can hold up in the cold weather. It's like, I don't know, 25 out right now. It's supposed to get down to like 16, I believe. And that's pretty cold. <laughs> we hope you have some awesome adventures. The deep sleep team.
one thing that's cool about the Jeep, I realized that there's a plug-in source right here, so that's pretty dope. So the tubes are right here at the very end. I'm going to have to blow this up somehow. Obviously, I can't be on the mat <laughs> when this thing is charging, or not charging, filling up. Yo! Yeah, I can, uh, I mess with this. So, one thing that I noticed I'm gonna have to do is try to keep the snow off of the bag. I don't know what the snow is going to do to it. Um, I don't even know if the space heater is even gonna work in here either because of how tight this is. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out ways to stay warm other than using that. We're gonna get the blankets and everything all set up just so I can see if I can fit in it and then pretty much just go from there. One thing I will have to do though, is I'm gonna have to be very careful of where I put my shoes when I get in the Jeep. Cause when I jump in the Jeep, I might have to like clean them off and like possibly put them underneath this part right here. Um, really spacious though, which is I like, and I know that I can actually like sit up in here. So yeah. Um, if you guys have any like tips or anything, please let me know. I'm definitely open to um, suggestions here. There is actually one thing that I forgot to do. I didn't buy a pillow. And I'm also going to try cooking some dehydrated food. If I can find anything at Kroger's, but I mean, if not, then I'll have to figure something out. The sleeping bag that I ended up getting was from Teton, Teton Sports. I'll leave all the links and stuff in the description down below if anybody wants to check them out. It's zero degrees. I don't know anything about sleeping bags, but obviously if it gets too cold, I'll just start the car and pretty much just um, head home from there. That's if this does not work out. Now this mumming bag, it's, it's considered a short bag. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that because it's, it's, a pretty, it's a roast to myself. We're gonna pretty much just jump in here real quick. I don't know how much room I'm supposed to have in this, or... <laughs> oh, dude, look at this. <laughs> I can live with this, guys. And it's so warm on the inside, dude. It's insane. I can do this for sure. Now, the next thing that I have is my burner. Oh, no. I really hope I just didn't kill the battery with that. It goes the Striker 200. I really hope that you guys can see this. If you guys can't, I'm really sorry. But I'm going to have to figure out a way to get light in this Jeep. Okay, before I get started on this camping journey, I got to get gas just because, just to be safe, because it is really starting to come down even harder than it was this morning. And it's not supposed to stop until 1 a.m. It is 8 p.m. right now. So that's about, what, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, about five hours of snow that we're going to be getting hit with. So obviously I want to make sure I have enough gas in the car just in case if anything does happen. So let's gas up, let's get some snacks, some drinks and everything, and then let's get camping. So what I got for snacks was some Detroit mixed caramel and cheese popcorn, Nutella for breakfast tomorrow morning, and some water to make it through the night. Now I know I said that I was going to make food tonight, but... Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I really don't know too much about it and I got to do more research which I really wish I would have um, But the next video guys, I promise 100% I will be fully camping throughout the entire day making food all day for you guys to see Today is kind of just kind of a uh, like trial and error type thing to see if I can even do this if I can make it um, What I'll do better next time and plus if you guys have any tips too, I would really appreciate it So right now I threw it like $26 in gas and bought some snacks and then I'm um, gonna get back on the road and get to the camp spot. If you guys have made it this far into the video, uh, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all the love and support. And for those of you who are still here, I really do appreciate it guys. Uh, you guys are kind of the main reason why I like doing these challenges slash going on these adventures. I know a lot of people are worried about me right now because who just goes camping, who just wants to go camping in the middle of the storm? But still, uh, thank you guys so much for being here and being a part of these adventures with me. Now we gotta try finding a spot to go camping. Stealth style. And as we are going through the town, you'll never guess what I found at Speedway when I was getting gas. 
You know the propane tanks that I was looking for, like the specific ones? They had them at Speedway, of all places. How in the world do I go to Target, Lowe's, Home Depot, and they don't have the brand that I want, but when I go get gas, when I'm like looking at the, um, the, the, the like the, I don't know, what aisle you call it, the auto section, I don't know. Anyways, when I go there, it's, it's literally right there, there's two cans. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And I did not bring my heater with me just because of the fact that I just, I don't feel comfortable with using it right now, so I'm pretty sure that I will find another time to do it. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. But this is my favorite part about Frank Muth right now. Going through town, passing Zenders, and obviously my favorite coffee joints right down the right side. And the town's just beautiful. It's peaceful, it's relaxing, there's hardly any crime, knock on plastic. I'm hoping that there's going to be a spot for me to go camping over here because if not, I'm gonna have to find something. Yo, that's some pretty thick snow right there. It's a big bump. There we go. Oh no, guys. I don't think there's any cars over here. So how am I supposed to camp if there's no cars? I'm supposed to be stealth camping for a reason. And it's empty. Okay, we're gonna go to the back then and see if we can find anything. Come on, please be cars so I can park by him. Okay, so there's more cars up front towards the building, so I guess I'm gonna have to give that a try. So I'm all camped in for the night. I'm actually probably gonna put this um, Thermofit liner on just because it's kind of getting a little bit cold. Not like unbearing cold, but just something to be kind of safe. And then I'm gonna watch my movie and then go to bed and we'll see what happens. Good morning, everybody. Mm, it's officially, I think it's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m., guys. I made it through the night. Man, it, it was cold. I want to do better at keeping myself warm next for the next time. Let's see if the car starts. Heck yeah, it did. One thing I would definitely do differently, guys, is I'd probably buy a minus 35 bag if I'm sleeping in 20 degrees weather because it was... It was cold, I will admit, but that's the challenge, you know, that's what we're kind of learning right now, what to do. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Um, I think I'll make a, like a recap video coming up soon of kind of everything that's going on because there's a lot of things that I want to change and a lot of things that I need to learn. So, uh, if you guys made this far into the video, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because there's more content coming soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, Captain out. Let's get up on out of here, guys.